All right, guys. Um, talk about ignoring feminists, don't engage with feminists, and I've got to admit, I've got to separate old feminists from new ones. The new ones I find very peculiar. Um, a lot of the arguments they're having has no relevance in the sense that it's a it's often an argument that a doesn't affect them directly, but b it's only an issue because they're making it one. At the same time, they are, wouldn't be interested in equality. Equality in the sense of, like, we're talking about, like, say, male rights, access rights to children, all that sort of stuff. There wouldn't be a feminist that would be interested in that stuff. From the new ones. Older feminists, I would say you'd have, you'd have half a bet on that. Because they've, they've gone through this transition period. Um, because a lot of the rights that they wanted and got are here. And they've experienced them. But they've also experienced the fallout from that. For example wanting to work and then being able to work and be able to get the pension fund, being able to get all that sort of stuff and then at the same time going home to an empty house because they're working and the husband's working as well and the kids kids aren't being seen as much because they've got um, work commitments and all this sort of stuff. So I can understand that an older generation has all that. A lot of the younger ones um, have not experienced life yet. And this is why I find some of the stuff they come out with it completely bizarre. Um, because they haven't experienced enough in life to actually come out with the stuff that they think they've been empowered with or whatever. I mean, what is empowerment? What is empowerment? For me, it's a word I wouldn't use um, beyond the fact of... Yeah, I would never use it. It just doesn't fit in with anything I would say. I mean, I, I call things like personal development. I don't understand this whole, I am empowered. I am empowered for this. I don't get it. And I, and I don't think they use the words in the right way either. And that, that's, that's why I find it peculiar. They are not trying to fundamentally make life better for everybody. They're trying to focus on making things better for themselves. But often the argument is not even directly associated with anything they're doing. It's connected with bigger things. You know, at the end of the day, the Me Too movement and some of the stuff that goes on that is very, very peculiar. But at the same time, you ask, well, what's your connection with it? Well, it's just empowering women. But what's your connection with it? Well, that, that's it. So you're not part of the Me Too beyond the fact of just going with these women that are... It's, it's not really a connection. But at the same time, you will not be able to change their viewpoints because it's focused on stuff like that. Like I said, the older feminists that I've met, their views are about equality, their views are about equal pay, their views are about the family unit and stuff because they've experienced it. Most of these ones that are argumentative and obnoxious and in your face, hey, they would they would hate you for being meeked out. But they, you're not going to be able to change their mindset. But often they are not interested in listening. They're only interested in what they've got to say, and that's where a lot of this "I am empowered," "I am," "I am," yeah, it's all me, me, me. It's not about the better world, the better environment, the best for everybody. It's about being selfish. It's about um, having something to complain about and argue. And then it's not me being anti-feminist. Because like I said, I, I agree with a lot of stuff from traditional feminists in the sense of equal pay for equal work and all that sort of stuff. And they agree with me. At the same time, they understand MGTOW. And they get MGTOW. They can understand it. They can see why MGTOW exists. But the new ones, the, these angry women, these young 20 somethings or 17 to whatever, a lot of time they're just arguing for the sake of it. And you just wonder what else is going on in their life that makes them so bloody miserable. But anyway, yeah, I personally recommend not wasting your time engaging with them because you're not going to change their mindset. You're not, there is no value in it. There is no value in it. And I could see them targeting people in MGTOW simply because they would want to target somebody because they're angry. At the same time, why? That would be the why. 
It's not as if um, a lot of the guys in MGTOW are doing anything beyond saying, I don't want to know, and moving away. Um, yeah. Let me know your views on that.